What's good, everyone? It's me, Yola here, and today we're going to be checking out Pono from the United States and his grand beatbox battle 2023 World League Solo Elimination. A man with the craziest styles, craziest sounds, combos, energy, everything, bro. This guy has it all. He's the full package. We got Pono, the American beatbox champion, coming to smash it for the GBB stage. It's the second time on a GBB stage, last time tag team, this time solo. So, yeah, I'm really excited, and let's just get it going. I'm, I'm really hyped. Let's break it. Hit him with the glitch. Dun, 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 bam. Oh man, let's go, stage. let's go. U.S. champion, America champion, repping for Hawaii. Hawaii, kara kitemas. Can I get some love for Pono? Yes, sir. Oh, look at this man. Give me a little bit of love. Give me a little bit of love. Come on now. Come on now. Wow. Love it. <laughs> Sounds good to you. Before we go and get into a showcase, he has one thing he wants to tell you guys. Nothing to do with beatboxing, but something he wants to say. Just keep it aside. The Maui. Just real quick before my uh, performance. Uh, some of you might have known about the uh, Maui fires. It's a very difficult time for the people of Maui. Uh, so I just ask that you guys can show your love and support for the people of Maui. Hawaii de Okita Yamakaji, Nyasan Gozon, Shimasenga. Ziggy Hawaii, Nyasan Gozon, Nyasan Gozon, Good show. I would just like to dedicate this performance to the survivors. Um, that's all. Crazy situation, but. Arigato Gozaimas. Yeah. Nice. Respect, bro. Big respect. Yeah. GBB 2023 Pono, it's on you. And we're gonna go and not use English for this one. We're going today. Say it in Hawaiian. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I say the Kolu, you say the Lua, and the Kohi. In Kolu! Lua, Lua Kohi, Beatbox. Hey. Show me what it takes. Step up to the plate. Come on, everybody, wanna make the room shake. Step to the step to the step up to the plate. Ah, nice bass texture. My goodness. Water break. 
I right, GPB. I think it's time we shut it down. Ooh. Shut down. quick i just want to that last part i really didn't enjoy shut down ah hey Very, very strong. Pono from the United States. Absolutely killed that, man. That was incredible. You know, what is it? I've heard a, a, quite a ton of Pono beats. So, you know, I'm very familiar with what I just heard. But yeah, really cool to see you translated well on the stage. Now, some things I want to talk about that were really interesting to me. What is it? The ending was nice, but I feel like the beginning, the energy wasn't really there. I'm not sure if like the crowd or maybe like the sound or just maybe stuff and then come out like you wanted to. But I just felt like maybe the energy was not there. It was just a little awkward for me. That was that's really all I can say. But other than that, I feel like he performed really, really well. Um, I'm not gonna like, you know, say anything wrong about the water thing. I mean, I feel like the judges would have liked, you know, no water break, but I mean I get it. Big stage, heavy stuff going on. One interesting thing I wanna talk about is his double voice. You know, I've no, I've heard Pono's double voice. And so what is it? I know, and especially in this elimination, that he likes to pair it with that little tooth whistle that he does, which is really, really sick. But if I want to compare this to someone like, let's say, ZVD, for example, because I feel like since ZVD, for example, is doing like, let's say like an inward bass to double voice, I feel like it's really out there. But I feel like since what is it? Uh, since he's doing the tooth whistle and the double voice, it might be a little suppressed because I feel like the volume for the double voice is very liking. It was very subtle, but it was good because it, I felt like it was a nice balance in between both the sounds with like the tooth whistle and the double voice. But yeah, really, really sick. Now, it's going to be really interesting for me to rank because I'm very familiar with what I just heard. Like nothing seemed really new to me. I've heard all of this before, if, if I'm not wrong. But if I had to rank him, I think I would put Pono in between zvd and helium yeah i like it right in between that but yeah other than that it was a really sick performance showing him like i'm not sure if this uh, pono has competed in any what is it solo international competitions i know he's on like a couple online outside of online obviously like live i'm not sure if he's done anything like international solo so, I mean, it, um, this might have been his first, and if it was, I thought it was really sick. You know, we're just getting a taste of what Pono's going to bring in the future when it comes to solo international competitions. Because I think this guy really is starting to break out, you know. He's really, I mean, even then, like, he's, his level up is, like, crazy. Like, he's getting so good over time, like, the amount of time it takes. But, yeah, I feel like 
soon this guy is going to just be dominating every international competition across the world. Like, this guy is a beast, man. Pono is incredible. But yeah, really, really sick. Really, really sick. I think the next couple of Elims, we don't have much left. We might have like three to four. If I'm not wrong, I'm guessing it's three. But I think we have like three-ish elimination left. And then we get to the battle. So I'm really excited for that. So yeah, you already know. I'm Yolo. I'll see you next time. Peace.